What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to record your PC screen for free using OBS Studio. This should be quite an easy tutorial, for more information click on the first link in the description below. First of all, in case you don't have OBS installed on your PC, then navigate to obsproject.com. From here, you can download the installer for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. In my example, I will download the OBS installer for Windows. The download will take a minute and your browser can help you find your downloaded files. After the installation is done, double click this icon to open up OBS. To get started, make sure that you have a scene set up. A scene is composed of different sources. Now, I will create a scene to record my computer screen. Click on the plus icon to create a new scene and I will rename this to Recording PC. You could also simply rename your existing scene. Next, we will need to add a display capture source. Name it whatever makes sense for you. I will call it Main Monitor. Click on OK and then leave the Capture Method option to Automatic if this option is available for you and below, select the correct display which should be captured. You also have the option to prevent OBS from recording your cursor, but I like to keep this option enabled. Next, when clicking on OK, the source will be added and you should be able to see your screen. In case you are using an abnormal screen resolution or if OBS is displaying a zoomed in screen for other reasons, then you have the option to resize and change the way OBS records your screen. Simply click and drag the handles on the sides to resize your image. You can also use the shortcut Ctrl and F to quickly zoom out and recenter your screen recording image. When holding Shift while resizing, the image will recenter and adjust the image to the height of the recording canvas. Next, you can add additional sources, such as a webcam. To do so, select to add a video capture device. You should now move your attention to the audio mixer panel. This will allow you to decide which audio sources will be picked up by OBS, as well as making sure that none of the sources are too loud or too quiet. Your desktop audio is the sound from your PC. Your mic slash auxiliary sliders let you change your microphone input volume. You might have other audio sliders below, such as your video capture device, which is your webcam or other microphone. When clicking on the gear icon of your microphone sound input, you can add filters, which will allow you to improve your overall microphone quality by using a noise gate, limiter or compressor. If you want to know more about improving your OBS audio quality, then make sure to follow my guide linked in the description below. To quickly optimize your OBS recording settings, you should make use of the Auto Configuration Wizard. Under Tools, select the Auto Configuration Wizard option and you will be presented with three options to choose from. According to your preference, OBS will adapt your recording settings. In this example, we will optimize OBS for recording and not streaming, so choose this option if it's according to your preference. Click on Next and here make sure to set the base or canvas resolution to your native monitor resolution. In my case, that would be 3440 by 1440. Set your FPS option to either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. This will allow OBS to choose the best option, depending on your CPU and GPU usage. Apply these changes if it's the first time setting up your OBS settings. I will cancel this process as it will otherwise change my custom settings. Now, in order to record your screen, simply select Start Recording and then stop recording again when you're done. When navigating to File, 
you can select Show Recordings, which will open up your default folder where OBS recordings will be saved. In order to add shortcuts to start and stop recordings, or to change your default folder, make sure to open up your settings. Under Output, navigate to the Recording tab. Here, you have the option to change your recording path. Click on Browse and here choose an existing or create a new folder in your file explorer to where your OBS recordings should be saved. In case you experience lag or stuttering while recording with OBS Studio, then again, you should watch my video on how to prevent this from happening. Under Video, you can rescale your output resolution if you wish to do so. This can be helpful for users with a wide screen aspect ratio, for example. I prefer to use the Langsos downscale filter, as it will provide the sharpest recorded video, but you might want to reduce it to be cubic if you're using a low end PC. Under Hotkeys, you have the option to set custom shortcuts to start and stop streaming, start and stop recording, pause your recording, and much more. Lastly, under Advanced, I suggest setting the Process Priority option to Above Normal. This will make sure that OBS will run fine if other resource-intensive applications are also running on your PC. After applying your changes, you should be able to record your computer screen for free using OBS Studio. To delete a source, simply right-click it and select Remove. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions, and see you in the next one.